The next step in learning how to interact with our graphics so that they're not just static or animating across the screen but the user can actually do something with them is to learn how to use controllers such as keyboards, game pads, and using a mouse to control an object on the screen. To do that, before we get started, we do need to learn how to draw something with a function because in order to animate these items, usually we like to get a location, x, y, of where it is at, and then rather than doing a whole bunch of drawing commands based upon those x, y locations, we'll write a function and we'll tell that function where we want to draw. Now in this example, we're going to create a function called, yes, draw a snowman. And this draw a snowman function is going to take an x and a y in to know where we want to draw the snowman. And also what screen, just like every drawing command has a screen, our function is going to take in a screen. And in fact, you can take a look at the function and see we take in screen right here and just pass it along to each drawing function through here. So each ellipse, the first parameter of course is a screen we're drawing on, and we just take what the user gives us with this function and pass it right along straight down there. So the first parameter in any of these drawings is pretty easy. The X and Y takes a little bit to understand. This is how the X, Y works. In this particular case, I'm bringing in the X, Y, and the X, Y is going to specify where I'm going to draw a snowman. So I'm going to draw a snowman that's going to look something like this, and the X, Y up here is going to be upper left corner of basically a box that's going to have the snowman in it. How do I do that? In order to do it, I am going to draw three ellipses. This is the head, the body, and the base. The snowman really doesn't have feet at least not mine, and we offset where these are based upon the x, y that we're given. The x, y for where the snowman is will come up right here, and this could be 0, 0, or it could be 100, 0, or the x, y where we want to draw these could be somewhere else. In order to make sure that wherever x, y that they pass in, we need to adjust it, and we do so by adding the x, y to the x, y coordinates of where these ellipses are. This first line right here will draw the head, and this x, y where we start, we're going to go over 35 pixels, and down 0 pixels, this will be the start of a rectangle that contains the ellipse that is the head. 25, 25. These dimensions for the ellipse do not change based upon the location of the snowman. They're always 25 by 25 pixels. We're not making it larger or smaller. That's a little bit more complex than I want to get into. This next one goes down 20 pixels. And we know that because we have 20 plus y. So we're going down 20. We added on 20. And we're going to go over 23. We go over less than 35 because this base is a little bit bigger. And we only go down 20 so that there's a little bit of overlap in this rectangle that I create for the ellipse. So it looks like the snowman is stacked and we've got a little bit of squishing going on with the snow. And then this one right here goes down 65. We go down a total of 65 pixels and over 0. So we get the next box down here with a total width of 100 pixels and a height of 100 pixels. And this one right here is 50 and 50. This seems like it might be a little bit complex, particularly with the X and Y that are involved, but you've already drawn things in prior labs. Some of them are a lot more complex than a snowman, and the only thing that we need to do is take what we've done before and add in the complexity of the X and Y coordinate, which is actually pretty simple. And what that gives us in the end is the ability to do something like the following. Right down here, we can draw a snowman I can draw a snowman at 10, 10, so 10, 10 would be right about here. 
I have an X and a Y of 310, so I could draw another snowman over here. And I have an X and a Y of 10 and 300, so down 300 and over 10 would give us a snowman like right around and over here. And I can draw three snowman very easily by just calling the draw snowman function. It makes sense what screen we draw it on, where we draw it on. And this code is easy to read. I can do multiple ones rather easily. And I don't have to do these three ellipses right here. I don't have to do those everywhere I draw a snowman. Otherwise, I'd have rather than three lines of code to draw three snowmen, I would have nine lines of code. And it would not be nearly as easy to understand if I had three ellipses commands as something called draw snowman. What is this going to give me? Later on, I can pass in the X and Y of where I want that snowman moved based upon the keyboard or the game controller or the mouse or whatever I is that I am using to move a particular snowman around. When I run this program, I've got my three snowman, 1010, and let's see, the next one is over here, right, an X of about 310, and then this one was like 10, 300. That's really all there is to it, and in the next video, I'll show you how to take a function or a set of code that you've already got that has drawn something and put it into a function that you can use later on.